fasting from schadenfreude or fasting from pleasure with someone else's misfortunes. Bismillah rahman rahim One of the things that we ought to fast from in Ramadan and after Ramadan is schadenfreude. Schadenfreude is a, is a word that is originally German but is used in English which means that someone having pleasure, to have pleasure that is derived from someone's misfortunes. And this ugly behavior usually happens when people are not in good terms. Um, when people, you know, having bad relationships or having a grudge, people tend to have this, you know, pleasure that their enemy, their opponent, is going through a misfortune. And the Prophet ﷺ warned us in the hadith that is narrated by Imam At-Tirmidhi and in which the, the Sahabi of the Prophet ﷺ, the companion of the Prophet ﷺ, Wathila ibn al-Asqa narrates that the Prophet ﷺ warned the companions. He said, ﷺ, do not be pleased with your brother's misfortunes because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could take it, could uplift this misfortune from your brother and bring it to you. So one should be very careful. Do not fall into this ugly behavior of being pleased with someone's misfortune. And the Prophet ﷺ commands us, he says, Love for your brother what you love for yourself. Schadenfreude is something that people who are unable to love would usually fall into. Prophet وسلم, was sent as mercy for the entire world. He was sent as a mercy for the entire creation. He was not sent as mercy for only people who love him, وسلم, for his companions, for his friends for his followers, for Muslims, for those who are pious. The Prophet ﷺ was sent as a mercy for the entire creation. Those who follow him and those who do not. Those who love him and those who do not. Those who seek refuge in him and those who fight, take him as an enemy. So as Muslims, we ought to have this mercy of the Prophet ﷺ. And this mercy stems from the love to others and the love of others. Ahib li akhik, love for your brother. So even if there is a grudge, even if there is a bad relationship, one should fight his ego or her ego. One should overcome this, the challenge of the ego and not, you know, and not submit to one's desires of being happy with someone else's misfortunes. It's a, a behavior that as Muslims, we ought to fast from and we ought to love what is good, whether to people that we relate to, whether with, to people whom we have good relationships with, or even people who, you know, they are, they are not on good terms with us. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fill our hearts with the mercy of his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and to fill our hearts with the love of blessings for his creation subhanahu wa ta'ala walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.